Hi guys. So I thought I'd get started by doing a shop tour video of my workspace. I don't do a lot of YouTube videos. And so I thought, you know, getting into that, this might be a good way to start. Uh, that way I could see where I started and how things progress over time and bring you guys along for the ride. Let's get started and uh, show you my shop. <laughs> I'm heading downstairs right now. And let me flip the camera around. Okay, so just came downstairs. This is what I have at the bottom of my staircase. It is completely exposed on this side. And my shop is a mess right now. So I have this big metal rack right here. It has a bunch of stuff on it. Some OSB walls coming over here. This miter, st miter saw I have on a cart. I just pull it out and set it up right here and uh, cut stuff out here. Um, eventually, this whole wall will be a miter saw station. Oh, under here, I have, uh, let's see, a Delta X joiner right there. This is an old countertop cabinet that I got from an old job um, works pretty good undermount drawer slides uh, stores a lot of tools um, over here is usually router bits um, not very good storage and usually some Forstner bits in there as well but um, down here is a whole bunch of old drawer slides you never know when you're gonna need some some drawer slides some old pulls those are the pulls that go to my toolbox which you'll see in a little bit um, coming down here this is usually just a random assortment drawer I usually keep a label maker some extra labels um, some business cards here um, take out to the job site give to clients stuff like that um, and my spray paint drawer <clears throat> any sort of rattle can drawer really up here I've got all of these uh, bin organizers these are actually really useful I got them from Harbor Freight they're uh, like two bucks so um, got a whole whole wall of those as you can see I haven't even filled them yet but uh, the plan is to get a good size of um, you know nut washer bolt everything all the you know a really good selection so you don't have to run to a hardware store when you're in the middle of a project because no, we all know that's like the worst um, very sandpaper up here these this is all some French cleats, different French cleat storage. Got a TV that I got for free, mounted it up there so I can, uh, you know, pull up a YouTube video if I'm trying to see something or if I, you know, I can put up my uh, sketch up plans or something like that if I want to see them really well up there. Or most of the time I just put up Jeopardy. Um, over here, good old rigid uh, five gallon dust collector. It's not really a dust collector, you know, it's a shop vac, but hooked up to the Home Depot, you know, dust separator thing. And I just plumbed in my own PVC, you know, piping there. Um, so it works all right. I could, I want to do better. Uh, that is my Milwaukee 12 volt, uh, I think it's called the Power Tower or something like that. I forgot what it's called, but really like it 12 volts uh ryobi 18 gauge brad nailer uh multi-tool reciprocating saw angle grinder hot glue gun that thing i actually use a lot um i usually keep all my glues up here um big bottles for refilling um the smaller guys obviously um, back over here on the opposite side of this wall is the clamp wall. Um, various lengths, got pipe clamps, um, saw track. Uh, this is my large 96 inch saw track. Um, got pipe clamps. All These are all Bessie uh, parallel clamps for those. Um, so I'm along with these F style clamps. Um, stuff I inherited, stuff I got. Um, some more clamps. These are some Harbor Freight clamps. These ones are actually really good. I actually really like these. Um, they work, you know, 
They had some pretty crappy stuff there, but those are pretty good. Some more Bessie clamps. Um, got some DeWalt and uh, some uh, Irwin. What are they, what are they, I don't know what those are called. Grip clamps, whatever they're called. Uh, mounted some uh, pack out crate mounts because uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, I am a huge fan of Milwaukee lines and the pack outs. Those, these things are awesome. Have a drill hanging out over here. Put that away. Um, and then some different tracks that I built. Uh, this one's for my router. Um, that one's obviously for my circular saw. I just have them labeled there on the back. Um, I got the Craig um, Accu cut. I just find there's too much slop in here. Um, I just don't really like it. So I'm gonna save. I'm saving up for an actual track saw. Uh, you know, got a T square up there. Various lengths of levels and a bunch of spring clamps. Uh, could always use more clamps, as we all know. But so coming over here to the toolbox. Um, this is not a milwaukee fuel <laughs> obviously um i just had that sticker and i needed a place to put it and it offered the deep drawer here which i needed for my socket set which is hey i've been missing that screwdriver um this is the craftsman 299 piece uh laser etched uh, metric and imperial socket set it was really good I really like this um, set, and the foam insert is from, I believe, Foam Tools, foamtoolinserts.com, I believe. You know, air tool ratchet. I got the Milwaukee 12-volt ratchet in here. This is not the fuel. This is just like that brushless one. Um, I haven't tried the fuel, but I feel like it's got more power than this. This just doesn't feel like it has very much torque uh, over here is the batteries i got the milwaukee 12s all up here um usually this is full um you know obviously i got the uh 4.0 the 2.0s got the m18s uh just these four 4.0 batteries these are the only two i got um i have got a small collection of uh measuring tapes you will see more around the shop. That's usually where the batteries go. Um, I've got various, you know, good old crescent wrenches in here. I've got vice grips, all that stuff. Uh, pro tip, if you don't want to pay for, you know, Kaizen foam or something really expensive, these are the foam floor pads from Costco, and they're two-tone, blue and black. So draw it out, router. Uh, not as deep, obviously, as going with a kaizen but on a pinch cheaper um random drawer storage the drawer right below this one here is my ratchets got a few more you know, vinyl stickers in there haven't put up keep some chisels things like that um uh hole saws these are taps um I got a few hole saw, hole saw, hole saw. Those are the Bosch. These are like those paddle or spade bits. Um, more random stuff. Uh, this is my, an old plane uh, that I just keep in there. Um, shelf pin jig, corner clamps, and the concealed hinge jig. That thing, this thing is actually really awesome. This one and, and that, really great. Here, I usually just keep some spare screws old one so i got a couple old locks and stuff like that keep down here while coming up we'll come over here to the right this is the battery wall i've got four different brands i'm using in the shop so i got the ryobi 18 volts up there the milwaukee 12s are all mounted here plus the 18 charger um the dewalt 20 volts and the makita 18 volt these are all wired up to two surge protectors coming out right here so I can just take this whole thing off the wall, bring it with me, charge everything up. Over here is the drill wall. Um, I got a couple drills floating around in the shop right now, but so I've got the finish nailer over here. That's the 22 gauge Makita finish nailer, uh, DeWalt drill impact. These are 20 volts, obviously. The Makitas. Uh, 
Um, and then the 12 volt line, I really, really like the Milwaukee 12 volt lines. These So coming up, just keep a few things. Ryobi tools, staple gun, circular saw. Keep some speed squares over here. And then just random assortment tools, some things like that. Gotta have the old, old CDs when you're old, man. Okay, coming over here. Got some drawers that I built a little while back. Just some simple shop drawers. Um, they are fit for the M Milwaukee uh, inserts. Keep some drill bits and stuff in here because got my drill press right above it. So keep some drills right here. Down below it, same thing. Um, nice. I like this little block plane. Um, this is one of those uh, Buck Bros ones you get from Home Depot. So coming down, random bits, old Milwaukee bag. Or I guess it's not an old Milwaukee bag, but just a random off Milwaukee bag. I got DeWalt, uh, that's a rotary hammer drill, and that is a spiral saw for drywall. Some extra, uh, in you know, sustainers, Milwaukee sustainers down here. I think this drawer's empty. Yeah, I don't have anything in that one yet. I'll show you what's in those in a second, or at least that guy. This one just has a bunch of uh, heavy-duty extension cords and stuff in it, and that one is filled with Kaizen, but I haven't cut anything to go in the Kaizen yet. So up here, obviously I said I got the drill press here, 3M Bluetooth headphones for listening to podcasts or audiobooks or whatever while you're saving your hearing. Always important, guys, wear your head ear protection. Some drill bit extensions and stuff like that, holders and drill bit containers. Goof off. I love this WD-40 dry loop. That works really good. And, uh, you know, mineral spirits and wood filler, stuff like that. Got some old saw blades that I inherited up in here. Those were my grandfather's. I got to find a good blade sharpening company. Local can't seem to find any. Pick these up, man, I think like a year ago, Black Friday a year ago, for these Diablos that are still sitting up here. Haven't, haven't even changed those out yet. Cutting board, I got some, I think that's UHMW or whatever that's called plastic that I'm gonna use for some, you know, some runners or whatever. Got some old Craftsman saws. This one I got from a guy that I bought the joiner off of actually, Australian guy. Um, just threw it in, said, hey, go ahead and pick one. He had a collection of them, so he let me have this one. Um, screwdriver storage, mostly. Keep my markers and pens over here on this side. I Pencils. Got some pull saw over here, which I actually need to replace that blade soon. But down here, obviously, like most people's workbenches, it is full of stuff. Um, so palm sander, that thing I use a lot. Great little speed square. This Milwaukee speed square is awesome. What's in this guy right now? This is my like measuring and layout box. Kaizen foam all throughout. Um, nice laser distance measure. Keep a 25 foot um, refiller, you know, powder for the chalk line. Stud finder. Another. This is old. I think. Uh, short straight line. Uh, just a you know laser level Bosch laser level 100 foot measuring tape Milwaukee and that's just the clamp for that coming over here these are just some homemade drawers drawer fronts drawer handles the whole deal um, that I had made a while back I needed some storage and at an old job I was able to collect a bunch of these milk crates um, for free so I had a ton of milk crates lying around so I just cut some OSB to fit in the bottoms uh, cut some OSB for the fronts and attached them and then just some eighth inch I think it's one and a half by one and a half or one and a quarter something like that angle cut that down and just welded some half inch rebar for the handle for the pull which I kind of like and it's just on simple wooden slides nothing special um, so I keep all sorts of things in here, knee pads. This one has a bunch of random old electrical cords and stuff. This one normally has tool bags in it, which you'll see. That's my one of my circular saws. Down here, this is painting supplies, spackle, 
all that stuff for patching walls and stuff. This one has some, uh, you know, conduit boxes and stuff like that. I've also got some extra water seal in the back for projects. Um, and then over here, this is finish. Also another water seal. I got a ton of Thompson's water seal. Stain, wood stain, uh, wood finish, uh, all that stuff. All right, coming up here, another measuring tape. Okay, these are all the Milwaukee uh, job site organizers. So I got them all labeled for all my different screws. Craig, these are the, you know, torque screws or whatever, deck screws. Um, recently fell in love with these cabinet screws and trim head screws and stuff. Love those. Drywall. And then I have some for my electrical tools, DC, AC, stuff like that. These are my shop friends. I've had these for a long time. Made them back in an old job. So I just hang out. My daughter likes looking at them. So that means I got to take kind of special precautions to protect the tools. Um, I do have security cameras set up in the shop so I can see what's going on. Um, this is my table saw. It's an old Craftsman uh, contractor saw that was my grandfather's. Um, he passed away years ago and I inherited the saw. Um, it's a good saw, but the fence is garbage. So I... I really obviously want to upgrade the fence uh ideally upgrade the saw saw stop would be nice this is my outfeed table that i built uh, uh um, diy tyler on youtube had come up with this design and then i also made these leveling feet myself uh, these are just some angle iron bolts and then i welded nuts on the underside um with some long four inch threaded bolts just to level the top screwed down some masonite which uh normally on an indoor shop wouldn't be a problem it's a great surface slick durable and cheap to replace if it gets damaged however when you're outside and it is exposed to moisture uh, this thing just potato chips so you can't really see it but i've got screws all throughout this thing holding it down um and that's just i just didn't want that so i'm probably going to switch this out for like that white malamine or whatever that's called those are my tool bags over there i got the pack out tool bag right there and just you know other bags that come with tools and stuff lying across it i uh drilled in some holes for this um vice they go through to some t-nuts that comes out all the time put some electrical in here and i that's a router table that i built a little quick makeshift router table came out okay um rigid job site table saw dolly back there um and then random tool storage over here um over here let's see that's a husky paint sprayer that is a um, staple gun a pneumatic staple gun this is my newer spray gun which i really like uh this is the wagner airless paint sprayer i use that for all of the finishing on the last cabinet ca cabinetry job that you'll check out over on my instagram you'll see that job that was uh this thing has turned out really well this is a really good tool i like that and then a can leftover can from that job of uh polyurethane i've got an empty shelf here <laughs> nothing really special these are the dewalt folding uh sawhorse legs those are really useful always got to have a first aid kit um some clipboards and stuff like that okay guys so the next big upgrade that i want to make to the shop is actually this wall behind me uh that has the kind of french cleat wall the uh storage down here tv all this stuff um between this pipe can't really show you very well this pipe down here which holds up the header to the floor above us as well as this pipe right here behind me is about 13 and a quarter feet um, so what I would like to do is I want to take out all of this stuff down here the countertop here um, even these tools down here that are on the carts um, and frame in a new miter saw storage system or on youtube guys so you can find those um so cabinetry drawer storage underneath cabinets on top with a built-in miter station um that's what i want to put in there 
it would be more work, but also ideally this station here behind me, literally right behind me, uh, instead would move this station down to where that stuff is and then put the miter saw station here because over here on the driveway is where all of the you know material comes in to get broken down so it would make more sense to put the miter saw station here it's just it would it's just easier to do that over here is less stuff to worry about versus over here i would have to move all of this down there um so we'll see but uh that's what I want to do to the miter saw area right here behind me. Next big, big shop upgrade. So look out for that one. All right, guys. So once again, sorry for the noise. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the shop just to kind of see what I'm working with right now in the space that I have. Uh, I'm really excited because to, to film it because it allows me to keep track of um, what I'm working on and upgrades to the shop and uh, we all love watching those upgrades to the shop, you know, get ideas for our own. I live in a rental property, um, my wife and I, so um, this was originally a single carport that was exposed on one side just beyond the camera here. I closed it up temporarily. Um, the homeowners let me do that. So there's only so much that I can really do to this space. Um, I don't have access to a lot of power, so I can't really run heavy equipment. And I don't really have a, the space that I would like for a lot of the tools that I um, will use. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I have going on, the plan for the miter saw station, and um, just upgrades to come. Uh, if you like this video, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, please subscribe. That'll kind of encourage me to make more. Share it if you will. Um, and follow me over on Instagram at Matt Berdowski. That's where I do most of my posting, but I'm trying to get more into to YouTube videos as well. I hope you guys like it and uh, you'll see me in the next one. Take care.